Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling Guy Smith, and you guys are watching All in Wrestling, the premier YouTube show that's focusing on NXT 205 and many more. So this is this is actually gonna be my AEW and slash NXT review, but I think it's gonna be an AEW because NXT um, there's a lot going on with you know with the coronavirus and stuff. But anyway, so here's what I I was gonna tell you this like AEW was fantastic Wednesday. It was fantastic because you know what. What was so fantastic about it, I actually, we actually got to see a glimpse of JK, um, of Jake Roberts' client. See, and the dude, the client for Jake, for Jake Roberts, spoiler alert, is, um, Lance Archer. And I've heard about Lance Archer, but this is the thing about Lance Archer that people are gonna love about him. He doesn't even have to do a promo. Jake is, Jake is his client like Jake is this dude like his manager so Jake the snake is not like everybody else not a, a typical manager he's not a Paul Heyman he's not a Paul Heyman he's not a he is not a um a Paul Heyman a Jimmy Hart he's not even a he's barely not even a um he's not even a, a million dollar man and this is the thing too like I'm telling you this dude, like, his aura, like, when I saw him walk, when he was walking, and it wasn't, like, he didn't say nothing. He was just ominous. And this is the thing, too. Whatever, whatever they're doing with Lance Archer, whatever he's about to do next, the next week, and I'm telling you guys, whatever he's doing next week is going to change us. Because this is the thing. I've been hearing so much about this guy. I've been hearing ever since the, the two last, the, like, Last week we heard about the about Jake the Snake's client. I was sitting there thinking about it too. Like I've been wondering, well, who is his client going to be? We thought it was Harper. We thought it was Harper, but nah, it's, it's Lance Archer. This dude, if he does something at AEW, see, AEW gives you that chance to want to do something. See, and then we gotta, then we kind of have to real, and, and we gotta have to real, then we gotta kind of have to realize now there's a whole different playing field, meaning that. The thing with um the like I said with Lance Archer and Jake the Snake. Now Cody's gotta worry about Lance Archer, MJF, and he has to worry about Mox. If he decides to go up to or the hangman, because I got a I got a gut feeling that whatever is going on, and this is this is what I was sitting there thinking about the past couple of weeks with the elite, because you know, but anyway guys, but it was fantastic. Like we had a we had a fantastic women's tag match, which was really good against Karushita and Chris Tadliner, which I, I love them very much, and it was Nyla Rose against B, Bia Presley, which I'm seeing her, I've seen her on Stardom, which she's doing fantastic over there, I think she's doing fantastic in Japan, I think her wrestling skills have gotten a ton better since I've seen her, and like, she's, it was really good, and I did like the heel spot where she took the, where she, um, she sabotaged, um, where she tried to, thing is, like, Nyla Rose with that, that, that drop, I think that leg drop lariat, or rope, I think it's a leg drop lariat, I believe, but the thing I like about Chris Stadliner, like she, no matter what odds are stacked against her, she keeps trying, and that's the thing with Garcia is because the thing is, Garcia can do anything. It's just like Riho. They, it's like whatever AEW, and this is what I love about the match. Like the match had a lot of great spots. There was a lot of power bombs. There was a lot of hurricane runners. But I love the fact that they actually did, um, they actually did Enziguri, they did Enziguri super kicks, like stuff that. We should be seeing in the WWE. We really don't, except for NXT and me, NXT and maybe two hundred five. And this is the thing too, where I like the fact that it's they're actually trying with it. And then it's like now because the one person, the one person I was actually the the one person I was actually expecting to. Maybe the only person I was expecting to see because I I was expecting to see the one of the young bucks, but I really didn't see them. Um, I know Ken, I know Kenny's doing, I know Kenny's healing, I know he's doing a seminar or some type of thing, or he's doing something because I know he's doing something. And this is the thing too, where I kind of want to see a lot of, I want to see a lot of people, and I really want to see the fact that I actually want to see between. I do. I want to see how. I really want to see how Nyla Rose can go as a, a women's champion. I really want to see how far she can go. I want to see that too. I also want to see what what are they gonna what are they what are they doing with Joey Janela and I really want to see. I did I did like the idea of Death Triangle because you know I like Pac and, and Bray and and Pentagon doing. They had a fantastic match. They had a fantastic match. I think it was. 
I think Joey Janela trying to do something. But next week we we get Orange Cassidy, and I think that rivalry is gonna. That rivalry is a really good rivalry, I think, in my own opinion, because I think they're actually trying to do something. Where. Where it's not a total loss. And it's not. It's not a total loss because you know what? This is what I was trying to, and this is the same thing when I saw the match with when I saw the match between Hangman, uh, when I saw the match between Hangman, and um and, and, and Dustin Rhodes. I think he. It's not just the young bucks he's having a problem with. He's having a problem with with Dustin, where Dustin wants him to be with the elite, and I just I don't. I just don't see. I really don't see the point of him paying the elite because. It just doesn't, it really just doesn't see to me, like, I think he's going through a lot of different, stuff, like, a lot of different phases, and I just feel like the elite are trying to get him back, and the Young Bucks want him to be part of Bullet Club, and they want to go, they want to go back to normal, and I just don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work, because Hangman wants to be a solo dude, he wants to be a solo career, he doesn't mind doing the things with Kenny, because Kenny doesn't, Kenny's not pushing him, and I think him, like, flip, like, you know, like basically making making throwing the thing at Matt Jackson was like the funniest thing in the world to me because he's literally trying to make him care, and that's the sad part. Like he's literally trying to make him care, and it doesn't work. And then it's like, wow, well, what do we do? Where do we go? What do we do? And then it's like, wow. Well, you know, and this is the thing too. I'm trying to realize with like in the inner circle, they like they were there, but the thing is, they they lost against Heyman out of Page and Dustin Rhodes. Because see, thing about the thing about just, see, and I want Sammy Guevara to be somewhere where he's not a part of the inner circle. Because it's the same thing with Jay Hagar. Jay Hagar is slowly getting a part of it, breaking himself out, and it's like then we got to deal with Santana Ortiz. We got to deal with them. And then we got to deal with a bunch of other cats. And this is the thing too. Is that SCU was kind of dealing with the Dark Order right now. And the thing that I, that I loved. <laughs> I I loved was the Dark Order. Like the, the, the promo that he did with the Dark Order is like. Um, inspirational. Like, com- like um, um, commercials dealing with addiction or gambling. Like he's like the Dark Order sucks. He's like screw the Dark Order. And the thing was like he they keep talking about the Exalted one. And this is what I want to know too. Like. I'm like, don't get me wrong, guys. Like, I, I want to know about the exalt. I really want to know if Matt Hardy's going to be the exalted one. That's my point. I just want to see Matt Hardy be something else. I want to see the exalted one. I'm hungry to see it. And I'm just like, you know, where are we going to see it? And then I, you know, I, you know, and dealing with Butch, you know, the MJF and Butch and the Blade, which, which were, which was fine, but I'm just like, yo. Where do we go? Call Cabana's his dad. And that's the thing that gets me mad. Like, yo. And this is the thing I was thinking about, too. The one thing I hated, I think, out of AEW, was the fact that Tony, like, freaking Britt Baker keeps talking to Tony Schiavone, like, and humiliating him every week, and I'm tired of it. Meaning that I don't like that. The reason I don't like that segment... The first time, because she was being kind of a dumb, she was really being a dummy, and she starts talking smack and everything else. And this is the thing, she never wins a match. She hasn't become champion. Nyla Rose becomes champion. Chris Dallander is going to become champion at some point. Even Shauna's going to become champion. And maybe you call her Cheetah, and she's going to become champion too. Like, are you nuts? Maybe be a Presley too. And you talking, and you trying to talk to me, you never won. That's what gets me mad. And the funny thing is, she was talking so much smack and and, and big and big swole. Basically, we had a better promo. Her, they had a better promo, and then she going to try to hide behind Tony, and then throw and then splash his coffee in her face. And she took her, she took her um her thing on. She about to fight somebody. See, and this is what I'm talking about. And this is why I kind of. This is the only reason I don't like AEW as much as I should. 
because every time I gotta hear Britt Baker's voice, and I and I, and, I, and I've seen her outside of the AW where she has that same per, that same personality, and she's a doctor, and I'm like, bro, you're a, you're a dentist, you're a dentist, but you act like a dummy. Like, bro, that doesn't work with me. Why are you gonna like? This is the thing. You're disrespecting a guy like Tony, a legend like Tony Schiavone. You're disrespecting him. You got him. I mean, if it was anybody else, I'd be fine with it, but not Tony Schiavone. Not Tony Schiavone. Not him. Not Excalibur. Not J Jim Ross. None of them. And this is why he won't go after Jim Ross. Dude. Jim Ross would slap. Jim Ross would. would Jim Ross would have slapped the taste out of him. Like, that's what I don't like. I don't like the fact... Here's my question. I don't like the fact that... There's a problem. I don't like the fact that... This is the thing that, that I love about AEW. It's because we get we get so many different things. Like, like, like listen, I apologize if the video's going to blow up, but I'm, but I'm, 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 I'm finishing it off a little bit. The, this is why I like. I love the fact that everybody in AEW was getting their piece of the pop, where everybody's kind of having a rivalry, which is fantastic. It's fantastic, and I think, I think we might be getting a little bit more of Big Swole. And I like the fact that she's actually having a rivalry with someone besides. Like she's actually going after Bert Baker, which is fun. But this is the thing too. Like, and I, I'm still trying to understand. And maybe I'm not going to understand it. Like, how in the world, yo? And this is the question I don't understand. Like, how in the world do, do, do the Young Bucks come back? And I think they are a great tag team. But them wanting them, are they're not going to get those tag team titles. There's just no way. Because even if they did, and it would have been, it would the, oh, the story would have been fine if they went out to play, if... It was, if it was Blucher Bros and maybe Santana Ortiz, maybe the story would have made sense. But it's like every time I, it's like every time, and this is what I meant, like, well, like, you know, with, like, like well, Wednesday was like, like, Hangman is doing good with Kenny because Kenny's not pushing him. Like, Kenny's not making him feel like he's a pe Like, it, this is the thing about being the, the elite was fine. If they weren't trying to be up their bullet club selves. That's my only problem. And I think Hangman Page is not getting the space that he needs because they want him to be. It's like the elite wants to be bullet club. The bullet club is trying to be like the elite in Japan. But the difference is that they don't. And this is the thing. I don't under. That's the thing I don't understand is like they're literally trying to to get them to. To 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 to. To be like in the bullet club, and it just doesn't feel like that to me. Like I could, I could see it with Luchasaurus. I can see it with, with you know Jungle Express. I can see it with them. I mean Jurassic Express. I can see it with them. But I cannot see it, and this is the thing: I cannot see it with him. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.